about our project. Coral reefs provide food and shelter for many important marine species that support both life in water and life on land. They also offer a lot of resources and benefits for us humans. Think about fish and seafood supplies, natural buffers to protect our shorelines, and tourism opportunities. Unfortunately, coral reefs throughout the world are dying because of overfishing, pollution and climate change. In 2016, we founded Revolution as a possible solution for the decline of coral reefs in Kenya. Our main focus is coral reef restoration backed up by scientific research on marine ecology. We restore the reef by growing loose coral fragments in coral tree nurseries. Then we outplant the corals in artificial reefs and monitor these reefs to improve their efficiency and feasibility. Our research center is based in Shimoni, a port village and tourist destination in southeastern Kenya, near the border with Tanzania and directly across Wazini Island. Here, in the Wazini Channel, we create and deploy artificial reefs with plugs, bottle reefs and larger structures to reinforce the natural reef. These artificial reefs provide a home to an abundance of fish and invertebrates, and in return, these animals keep the corals healthy. The artificial reefs vary in both size and complexity, so that we can determine what is needed to get a well-functioning coral reef system and kickstart recovery. For all our artificial reefs, we do regular fish and benthic surveys in order to keep track on their development. We investigate the initial state of the reef patch and follow its well-being once all artificial reefs are in place. We have established three different zones in the Wazini Channel that help us understand the effects of fishing pressure on coral reefs. These zones include a fishing zone, a no-take zone and a community managed area. The fishing zone is an area in which there are no special regulations with regards to fishing. In the no-take zone, we agreed with the local community not to fish or do any kind of extraction at all. In the community managed area, only traditional fishing methods like fish traps and hand lines are being used to ensure sustainable fishery. Ultimately, we aim for the reefs to thrive again in cooperation with the local community so they can benefit from its healthy fish supply and income through tourism activities. Would you like to know more about our research and restoration? Please visit our website or watch the next video, Revolution Research.